From games you join to have a casual blast, to hair pulling, heart thumping, controller throwing competitive multiplayer games that I feel I have to win no matter what. These are my top 10 competitive multiplayer games of all time. One game per franchise. Remember, these are just my top 10. Let's get into it. Number 10. Star Wars Battlefront. I know what you're thinking. How could Battlefront be on your top 10 competitive multiplayer games list? It's too casual. It lacks in content. A kid could pick up this game and be somewhat decent. Well, you're right. I'm there with every other gamer who has said that about this game. However, there is one word that comes to my mind when this game is mentioned. Nostalgia. I am perhaps one of the biggest Star Wars fans of all time. The fact that I could be in the Imperial Armor being a Stormtrooper, a pilot, a TIE Fighter, or freaking Darth Vader is something I absolutely loved about this game. The sounds and visuals were so authentic, it blinded me for a short while on everything that was lacking in this game. My favorite game mode straight out of launch was Walker Assault as it was the only mode that had everything that Star Wars Battlefront had to offer. But as I said before, this was a nostalgia pick. I could talk for days on why this game was otherwise a letdown. But with that, let's move on. Number 9. Dark Sector. Uh, what the fuck? If you're asking yourself, what on the world is Dark Sector, you would be forgiven. Dark Sector was a third person shooter developed by Digital Extremes about a CIA agent named Hayden Tennell who gets his arm infected with Tennocide virus which gives him away many abilities, one of which is the ability to grow a three-pronged blade at will. That's the single player. Multiplayer had two game modes, both being extremely fun, which my friends and I spent many hours on. Infection, where it's one versus many, the one being the infected and extremely overpowered and fun to use. There was also Epidemic, which essentially was team deathmatch, and it was also very fun. Now, this game came out March 25th, 2008 for North America. Sadly, the game's player base quickly reduced and withered away, but it was extremely fun while it lasted. It was a really a Gears of War knockoff, but I loved it anyway. Moving on. Number 8. Pokemon. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald versions. Pika B. Pika Some people never really grew out of the Pokemon series. But the third generation of Pokemon was when I finally got into facing people locally and online battles. The strategy that went into the Pokemon games at that time were second to none. Pokemon games were in my opinion the pinnacle of turn based games. There was something so satisfying about catching your favorite Pokemon, training them to the level 100 with your favorite moves and stats and so on, then facing one of your friends or online opponents and defeating them with your Pokemon. It feels like you became a Pokemon master unlike that Ash Ketchum that failed to do it every season. I will always be a bigger fan of the original 151 Pokemon and sadly I fell off after the third generation of Pokemon. It just got too much for me or maybe because I just plain got too old for Pokemon. Who knows, I might have to try the new Pokemon Sun and Moon that's coming out soon. I have, might have to just dust my old 3DS off and try it out. But let's keep it going. Number 7. The Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. Just as big as of a Star Wars fan I was, I walk hand in hand with Lord of the Rings as a huge fan. The lore, the characters, the massive battles, what's not to love in Lord of the Rings. So when I found out there was a real-time strategy game of Lord of the Rings, I jumped all aboard. Soon I was recruiting some of my favorite scenes from the movies online. I would play with people online and crush their army with advanced tactics. Even when I lost, I was having fun and that's what games are about. My personal favorite were the elves and Sauron's armies. How badass was it to bring an army towards your opponents led by Nazgul or the Witch King? or Legolas picking off guys from miles away with his bone and bow and arrows. I do hope they continue with this game with the third. One can dream. Number 6. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Not bad for a game that started as a mod from Half-Life. Counter-Strike was perhaps the godfather of competitive multiplayer. 
In fact, the game is still played and is a esports go-to. The game slash mod introduced so much to the gaming industry, such as anti-cheat or VAC, Valve's anti-cheat, also teamwork, and many other things. Eventually, Counter-Strike evolved into CSGO, or Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I loved playing Counter-Strike for a time. It provided hours of fun and the competitive nature I was looking for. That was until the next game on my list came out and changed the game and everything I knew about competitive multiplayer. Number 5. Halo Combat Evolved <laughs> Halo Yes, when for Halo first came out, it honestly propelled the new Xbox to the height of the console charts. Its innovations were second to none and became the base for future games to come in story, first person shooters, and of course, multiplayer. Halo holds a special place in my heart because this is where it all started for me. Not games, but competitive gaming. When Halo came out, I was about 10 or 11, and I mastered its multiplayer and headshots became second nature to me. I soon was playing in local tournaments and beating guys twice my age. I have so many stories of playing Halo, it should be illegal. Like the one time, a group of guys I used to go to church with started a tournament and we played in the church. So you know we were making Jesus proud. <laughs> Another time I remember in middle school, my 8th grade teacher brought his Xbox into work and we played it instead of, you know, learning. <laughs> Little did the teacher know he was about to get schooled by a 13 or 14 year old. Long story short, he got really mad and didn't like it, the fact that he was losing to one of his students. I will never forget Halo and the many experiences it has brought me. Number 4 Gears of War 3 I like Gears of War 1 and 2, but it was Gears of War 3 where I started to get more into Gears multiplayer. Maybe it was the Retro Lancer because I love that gun. I was really never good at 1 and 2 and that's not something I dislike a game's multiplayer for, but it does ha however add to it at times. Gears of War 3 may have been better for me because I shared it with a friend and soon we were destroying other teams by ourselves. Sometimes having a friend to play along with an experienced multiplayer in a game is all you need to have fun, as this was the case for Dark Sector in the list previously mentioned. But enough on that, I just love the experiences I had with Gears of War 3 and I can't wait for Gears of War 4 releasing soon. Number 3 Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare by far my favorite Call of Duty so far. I don't know, but with every Call of Duty that comes out, I just get less and less interested. Like I played one game of Black Ops 3 and never touched it again. It became a joke to me. I mean, clowns running around and dancing. Really? Anyway, Call of Duty 4 however put Call of Duty on the map and it became the king of multiplayer for a long time. I put literally 32 days or more of playtime. 32 days of playtime. I 10th prestige and even after that I continued to play. My favorite game mode was search and destroy. I love the one and dead aspect of it and all the tacticalness that came with it. I'm one of those who is excited for the remastered version coming out, but it has to be bought with the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, an $80 price tag on that. This is why I think Call of Duty Warfare, Infinite Warfare has received so much hate. Their new trailer has over 2 million dislikes while on the way to 3 million, making it one of the most disliked videos on YouTube of all time. We will have to wait and see where Call of Duty ends up. Number 2 Battlefield 4 I had a hard time choosing between my first and second place, but what ultimately put Battlefield 4 at my number 2 and not number 1 was the horrible launch it had. When Battlefield 4 came out on launch day, you absolutely could not play multiplayer. There were so many bugs and glitches and networking issues that made it unplayable. It was a shame coming out of Battlefield 3 to this broken mess and it was unacceptable. But with that being said, flash forward to a year when I started playing again, it felt like a totally new game. The networking soon became one of the best in gaming and I soon fell in love with the Battlefield franchise again. There's a term only in Battlefield because there's things that happen in this game that you could not replicate in any other. If you wanted to play boots on the ground, you could. If you wanted to support infantry on the ground with helicopters, you could. If you wanted to be an ace pilot and take out enemy jets from the skies, you could. So many possibilities, it never got old. My personal favorite was Hallies and Tanks. 
I think I got so good with tanks I could kill someone across the map by hitting them directly with the main cannon. It was awesome. I had so many fun with this game, it erased some of the past mistakes. Number 1 Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Secure the bombs. This has to be my number one. I'm addicted to Rainbow Six Siege. Like, I think I need an intervention. <laughs> I mean, most of this new channel is all Rainbow Six Siege. Where to begin with this game? This is the most tactical sense game I have ever played in competitive multiplayer. In a sense, it is a hero first person shooter as every operator is unique in their own way with their gadgets and weapons. I quickly have been playing this as much as Call of Duty 4 for the fact on how much fun it is. This is a game I am very competitive in, to even the point of forming an esports team. I play this game to get better, but there are times where there's some funny things that happen while playing this game, and it takes all the stress away. No other game gives you more pleasure of acing the whole team or coming up in the clutch. I could go on for days on why this game is my number one competitive multiplayer game of all time, but I think that will take all day. But yeah guys, those are my top 10 competitive multiplayer games of all time. But I'm interested, what are yours? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, like and subscribe to see more. I will be uploading one of these top 10 videos every week. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Remember when life gets hard, just keep on gaming on. Thank you guys.